with the SUVs you can probably take curves. That's not too bad. The tires are very good, I like them. Seat, no, not a Seat, not a Seat anymore. Well, it's kind of Seat headlights, but everything else. It is the first ever Cupra, the actual standalone model, right? Yes, yes. So the Ateca. Ateca, yeah. Yes, Ateca, almost like an attack, but then attack. It is on Michelin Pilot Sport 5. Yeah, I actually don't have much experience with those tires, but they've proven to be very good. Proven to be because we already did a lap. It's already quite late. It's after the closing. Uh, the brakes seem to be actually also okay. Uh, what I really loved about the car aside from the exterior exterior is that the exterior experience that's a new word yeah uh, write that down write that down the power was actually quite good it's all-wheel drive the handling was also quite good quite sporty quite tight uh, but I guess all I need to say is like enjoy the lap and what we talked about it afterwards but for people who want to see the exterior exterior here it is one more time. Thanks again for the lap. I hope Thank you had fun. Much. Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, we're entering off season where the sun gets very low and it starts blinding, and especially when you're in the high SUV. Mm -hmm. In any case, we made it onto the track, so let's uh, have some fun. Why are you? Eh? Why are you up shifting so early? I didn't even touch you. Okay. Yeah, I noticed the same thing. But... Sometimes she likes to up shift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a Kia or a Taycan? I mean, not Taycan, but Panamera. So, what's the weight of this? 1.6 tons. Okay, yeah, I feel definitely a bit in comparison to the... What's the beeping sound? Sorry, there is nothing to repeat. <laughs> really? Voice command? Yeah. I didn't even touch it. From the G-forces. Ah. <laughs> What's happening? What is he doing?
Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I try. It's, it's a bit understeering because it's all wheel drive and we have all the weight on the top and the bottom, but it's it's working. So I bought two laps. I don't think I'm gonna use them. Huh. Oh, you can always go back. <laughs> I think this is enough for today. <laughs> Here was the crash on the previous lap that made the, them close the track, so I guess maybe it's just a lot of sand. Mm. Or maybe someone already... Ah, yeah, no, okay, yeah, now I get it. Better be safe than sorry. Sheesh. Or maybe they also have construction works now. Might never know. Life. 
a lot. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Um, yeah, short verdict. Uh, for a daily, it's actually quite good in terms of handling, in terms of power. I mean, you, I don't know why you would need more than 300 horsepower in a daily life anyway, uh, if you want to obey by the rules, of course. <laughs> um, no, it's I like it. Like, uh, because we need to, like, what's it called? Uh, judge the car actually for this particular reason. I'm not gonna say say it like, oh yeah, it's understeering. Yeah, of course it is. Because mm -hmm. it's a all-wheel drive. It's heavy. It's an SUV. It's not a truck car. It's not trying to position itself. But as a sporty SUV, I actually totally makes sense. Like, what's the like price level of those? It's like around forty or something, fifty. Mm -hmm. New, it yeah. was around 50. Okay. Now the market is around 30, 25, somewhere That's around there. That's super, super reasonable in my yeah. opinion. Comparing to the T Rock Air and the yeah. One Air. Ah, oh, they're they're more expensive yeah, than a lot more expensive. Yeah, no, e this is like, I always said the Cooper is the answer in a in a way if you just want performance and don't want to overpay for the badge because at the end of the day it's exactly the same car. So. I put the thing in drive and now we have right. the wipers again. <laughs> Alright. Oh, awesome. Thanks again. It was good. Thank you. Thank you.